Hello and welcome to the Man Games. A bit of a sadder video on the channel today. Woke up to some bad news this morning as there's been another load more releases within the WWE. So some of the names that have been released are Frankie Monet, Scarlet, Ember Moon, Ernie Larkin, Lindsay Dorado, Grand Metalik, Karrion Cross, Keith Lee, Mia Yim, Nia Jax, Harry Smith, and even Marie. Now there are a few like less known names, but one that the one that is um, very surprising is B Fab from Hit Row. She has also been released. And then there's um, some other names that I'm not actually quite familiar with. So yeah, we'll just um, leave that to one side for now. If you are new, watch the Man Games, and you do enjoy this video today, please think about subscribing to the channel. We do mainly like 2K20 videos, but we do also um, sometimes bonus videos like this on the channel as well. And if you do enjoy today's video, please remember to click that like button and let me know um, where you think some of these stars should go in the comments. And who are you most good to see about getting released? For me, it's got to be Karrion Cross. I think. I thought he had a lot of potential. I feel like he, he, um, he looked the part. Most of his run has been in the um, pandemic era, which I don't really think that's helped his character at all, especially like even when he was in NXT. I don't think you know that really helped him gel at all. His like debut and entrance, his entrance before he went into the pandemic era was um, awesome. It's probably like one of the best entrances ever. That's one thing I was really looking forward to him being in 2K22 was to see that entrance on the game, but now we're probably not even going to get that. And if you're looking from like 2K22, the, the creators of the game point of view, no wonder the game keeps the song getting pushed back if they keep on releasing people. I know this isn't like going to be like uh, like on their ra radar, should we say, like the 2K20 game. I'm sure they're not thinking, oh, well, we can't release people because we need them for the game. But still, you're paying all these people to invest money into a game and then you're just releasing people. They could have spent the last month developing Eva Marie, Karen Cross, Keith Lee, Mia Yim, all them kind of people. And yeah, now all that was wasted. So, you know, if it gets pushed back again, you know, this could be like a reason why. Which, you know, is just um, very frustrating. So, Frank, Frankie Monet, she hasn't been with the company very long. She only has like a 30 day no complete clause, so she could be back somewhere very soon. Probably, she, would, she did very well in Impact Wrestling, so I could see her going um, back there, but then maybe she wants to try something a bit different. She could go to NWA or AEW or, um, what is this Ring of Honor? But um, probably not now. So, yeah, I think. Frankie Monet and probably just go back to Impact Wrestling. You know, they've got the Iconics there, they're no longer the Iconics, they're the inspiration. Um, obviously, Mickey James is there now, so there is a few like fresh faces there that she could have matches with that she hasn't had before. Um, Ember Moon, someone else that got released. Um, I'm not really surprised about this release just because obviously they never really knew what to do when she went to the main roster. She's back in NXT now and she didn't really fit the mold of this new look of NXT 2.0, so that didn't. Um, surprise me at all. I think she could be a great per, uh, woman to go into AEW in their women's division to try and elevate that um, a bit. So I could probably see her going there. Next up on the list we've got Ernie Larkin. Um, yeah, don't really know. I quite like Ernie Larkin. I'm not really sure where his character would like fit in in other companies. So I'm, I'm really unsure about where he might go to. Be fab. I mean, what is all that about? Uh, she, She's just been called up to the main roster and now she's been released, which makes no sense. Obviously, she brought a different dynamic to the group hit row. Obviously, now they don't have that. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what that is all about, but there is a rumor on the internet saying that four of the people that got released um, were not willing to have the vaccine against COVID-19 so maybe that is a reason why she got released I'm not saying it is I'm just saying that could be a potential reason why I don't really think it's fair to release someone because they won't have the vaccine you know everyone's entitled to their own opinions and views on things yeah maybe maybe we'll just draw a line under that and leave that there um Grand Mental League and the one's been released he has actually asked for his release um, so yeah, not really surprising there. If you don't want to be there, just let them go. I know they've not had that attitude for um, a long time, but now if, if they're wanting to budget cuts all, a lot, which is the reason why these names got released, you know, letting go 
and Lindsay Dorado, his former partner as well, being released as well. They're probably going to go to like AAA or something like that, I would have thought. I could maybe see him popping up in AEW, but not really. Like as as a, as a featured wrestler, I could see them maybe doing what, what like Kaliso did, um, come in for a match. And then, you know, maybe six months down the line, come back for another match. But I think I could see them going to AEW, but not as a featured um, star on the show, should we say. Carrying Cross and Scarlet, like I said before, this is like my most devastating release. Just because I thought there's so much potential there to look. They look like star, in my opinion. Their entrance is really awesome in, in NXT. Where can they go from here? Impact Wrestling probably would have them back. I would like to say AEW, but AEW has just got such a stacked roster. I kind of just want to leave it alone for a little bit. I don't want to get too many names and it get watered down. I really do like AEW, so I don't want too much to kind of ruin it, if that makes sense. Like, too much of a good thing can sometimes hurt something. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure what the right answer for carrying Cross is. Maybe, maybe just take him back to Impact and have him challenge Moose for the championship, just to have him go straight in there. And challenge moves for the championship, maybe. Yeah, and Scarlett, you gotta think she's gonna go wherever Cross goes. But I just don't really understand why. Why did they call him up, then change his gimmick, then release him? I feel like you, they'll never even give the guy a chance, really. So it's just very disappointing for Karen Cross, in my opinion. Next up on the list, we have Eve Marie. So obviously she's just come back, being released. That makes me think that she could be another anti-vaxxer, um, maybe. Don't know. But it just seems a bit of a waste of time calling her up for no, like, I'm not calling her up, bringing her back. And then, what, what was she back? Six months, four months, and then she's gone. I suppose the only good thing about it is Dewdrop, Piper Niven, she got brought up to the main roster when even re, de re debuted. So at least, you know, we've got Dewdrop now, just hopefully they don't waste her or don't use her wrong and then release her. Like, you know, we've got some of these names there, which has happened too. Harry Smith, so he's not even debuted yet. So Harry Smith, Smith was, um, was he called D.H. Smith before? Or was he called Harry Smith before? He was called, he was, or maybe it was just David Smith. I can't remember, he was on the main roster maybe 10 years ago. Obviously, it's the a real life son of the British Bulldog. He um, came back to in induct his father into the Hall of Fame. Apparently, he had signed a contract. I think he's meant to be on NXT UK, but who knows what's going on there anyway. Um, so maybe that's why they just released him for it was, you know, dead money. I mean, I think Harry Smith might have been wrestling in Japan there, in New Japan, I think. I'm not 100%, but I could maybe see him going back there and doing something there. And next on the list, another name that is very surprising is Nia Jax. I used to be um, a big fan of Nia Jax. I kind of went off for a little bit just because with her injuring quite a lot of uh, women, I just feel like it was a bit reckless, a bit dangerous. Um, obviously, that's just my opinion, but I am very shocked that she has been released. I can't really see her going to... AEW or Impact really so I don't really know where she goes from here maybe maybe she just stops wrestling um, I think she's done like modeling and stuff like that so maybe she could just go and do that but yeah Nia Jax I can't really see her going to another promotion really she just seems like such a WWE star um, but I suppose you could say about Braun Strowman um, he's not really popped up anywhere big yet and there was rumours that he was going to Impact Wrestling um, but that never happened but you know there's still time and then lastly, we're going to talk about Mia Yim and Keith Lee. Now, Mia Yim, she had been in Impact Wrestling before, so maybe she could go there. Um, same again, she could maybe go to AEW. She'd be a, um, I think she'd be a good person to help train maybe the women wrestling. I'm not a massive Mia Yim fan, personally wise. I'm not, I'm not too bothered where she goes. Um, but Keith Lee, he should have been a main star in WWE, no doubt about it. They just wanted to change so much of the guy just let him be himself bask in his glory but no they had to change him to bear cat change his gear change his music everything that made keith lee cool and nxt they just kind of change so maybe that's why he didn't work and get over it on the main roster but i don't really think they're giving him time just like i don't think they give carrying cross time and i mean saying that did they even give ember moon time when she got called up originally just you know you can't expect to have results overnight yeah, it's just a shame. It is just a shame that all these people have lost their jobs and, you know, who knows where they're going to go. So, according to EWN, which is, um, I'm assuming it's like a wrestling news site online, it says, according to the New York Post, the main reason why Nijax was released 
was she was unvaccinated and refused to get her shot. Of course, the New York Post has reported this and this EWN has also like reported it as well. It says take it with a grain of salt and there's probably some truth in it. Um, like I said, I can see that's why maybe a few of them have been um, released. If we just go onto Twitter and look at some of the superstars reactions. So Mia Yims tweeted out 90 days, let's get to work. Frankie Monet has said once I've given myself from feelings all levels of disappointment, sadness, anger and also uncontrollable laughter. I'll have a statement but now 30 days. So obviously because she's an NXT superstar she only has a 30 days no compete clause. So that is why Alistair Black managed to debut in AW so quickly because when he got brought to the main roster they never actually changed his contract so maybe they've done that with carrying cross as well so maybe he could show up somewhere in 30 days maybe Scarlett has tweeted out officially free to work in 30 days so obviously she's only a 30 day one as well Ember Moon has tweeted out all I can do is laugh Grandma Ali is tweeted out once saying free once saying gracias and then a third time thank you to universe for welcoming me into your open arms and stay with the company thank you Vince McMahon for granting me my release I will miss you WWE universe remember the most important thing is in life is to be happy see you soon the king of the ropes so yeah that's just um letting you know what some of the superstars have come out and said already about their releases well, thank you very much for watching the video today. I'm sure it was a bit rambly, but you know, it's a lot to take in when you've, um, you know, just waking up to this sad news was just pretty um, crap. You know what I mean? I just feel so bad for Mike Keith Lee carrying Cross, especially. I just feel like there's a lot of potential on the main roster. Um, I would love to see Scarlett and Cross on the main roster as well, but hopefully they can go somewhere else and they can reach their potential in a different company. So thank you very much for watching the Man Games today. Please, if you haven't already, think about subscribing to the channel. Please click that like button if you did enjoy today's video. And like I said in the intro, let me know in the comments what you think about the releases, who you were gutted about game released. There's just been so many releases this year. Um, out of them all, probably Bray Wyatt and Billy Kay. I know that might sound like a random one, but they're the most two crushing for me. Uh, just because I'm a massive Billy Kay fan. But at least now she's on Impact Wrestling and I get to watch her every week and I listen to her podcast as well. Even though it's a bit girly, but I'm still listen to it. Well, thank you very much for watching the Man Games today and I'll see you on the next video.